All right, so this is my ergonomic office. Um, I'm going to explain uh, the ergonomics of it and um, all the current features that I have. So right here is the Herman Miller Embodied Chair. It's a, um, one of the best ergonomic chairs on the market. Uh, it's um, fairly high end, but it's like it's it's it's, it's totally worth it. Uh, there's lots of adjustability, and this is the quote unquote world's first health positive chair. All right, so. Sitting here, um, notice here I have my monitors here. Um, they're actually on M2 um, human scale monitor arms, which I will demonstrate later on in this video. Um, so the chair is a very important part of ergonomics, but also equally as important is the monitor height. So that way you're not straining your neck. Um, you want to place your technology um, in such a way where your, your body isn't um, completely positioned in a detrimental way where after hours of sitting you're not going to be extremely strained and your muscles aren't going to be so completely tense. Um, so I have these uh, monitors here and they're 27 inch monitors at about a um, mid eyes height so that way I'm not having to look up like this and strain my neck or down also straining my neck I'm just looking kind of head level. So um, now Another important part of um, ergonomics is the keyboard and mouse placement. So um, I also purchased a human scale keyboard and mouse tray. And let me pull that up. So it fits underneath the desk. And um, notice here how I have my mouse and keyboard. So the keyboard that I have here is a Logitech Wave uh, ergonomic keyboard. Um, the K350, it's um, an amazing keyboard with a lot of features and adjustability. Um, but notice here my mouse, um, my mouse pad is um, an angular shaped mouse pad just so that way you can position your mouse in such a way where you're not completely torquing your, your wrist. Um, also with uh, the mice I have here, it's a Logitech Performance MX mouse, which is a um, ergonomic uh, mouse, um, but also, and I'm I'm a Logitech fan here. So also, depending on if my um, my hand gets a little too strained from the movements of that mouse, I have a um, Logitech um, M70 trackpad mouse, uh, also ergonomically shaped, so I can switch between the two and. Um, make sure that my, my hand isn't being overstrained um, at uh, one time or another. So another feature uh, that I have that I've actually um, added to this um, keyboard setup here is the addition of a holder for a mouse pad. Uh, this is the Logitech T650. It's a very nice uh, touch pad. It works extremely well with Windows 7. But I um, use that for my left hand so when my right hand gets strained, I'll use my left hand for the trackpad. Or you can use them in combination. Now what's nice about this uh, um, keyboard tray is that you know you can pull it in and out. You can actually lift it up and um, to your, um, your um, height that works great for you, but there's also a lever here for negative tilt for your keyboard. Um, now also for my mouse, if you can see here, this mouse tree comes over the number pad. Um, now why I have that set up like that is because the closer your arms are together, right here, um, you have less stress and you kind of want to have your mouse as close to the keyboard as possible or as close to the center as possible. So I have mine a slice over the number pad uh, because I don't use the number pad too often and it just keeps it at a much more comfortable distance from the keyboard to the mouse and so my hands move less and also I'm just my my body position is um, much more ergonomic. Um, so now for me how I generally like to sit is 
and I'm sure it's going to be a little bit difficult, so I'm going to reposition real quick. So another thing to notice, notice how my legs are um, at a pretty much like a 90 degree angle. My feet are firmly planted on the floor, and I have at least three, two to three fingers of distance between the, um, the end of my chair and my kneecaps, right? So um, this is also a very good uh, position for your knees. Okay, so now we're back and you can see that uh, my monitors are about an arm's length away, actually a little bit more than that, and it's not going to be straining on my eyes to be that far away because they're pretty large monitors and I can zoom in on the documents and such. Now, the, the light source or my, my windows to the office are not behind, they're not in front, they're actually to the side so that way I don't have any kind of glare. Um, now, if you notice the positioning here, I have my armrest of my Embody chair uh, positioned so that my arm is just rested nicely on the uh, armrest and my hand is not straining when I am using my mouse or trackpad. Um, also here I have my mouse pad at a slight tilt that way. Um, and so that way I'm not um, having to rotate my arm like this. It's just kind of at a natural angle here. Um, on my keyboard here, whenever I'm typing, I take my arms off of the armrest and now they're just kind of resting on the keyboard at a natural angle. Um, now for my trackpad to the left here, again I just rest my hand on the trackpad on the left and it's um, very easy to, to do any kind of trackpad motions. Um, the distances are very good. Um, for me, I actually don't incorporate any negative tilt because um, um, it's, it's more comfortable for me at a, at a regular tilt. But if I were to, you know, there it is, I, I can go at, I'm at a, probably a negative two degree tilt right there and it's tilting everything at a downward slope. Um, so now my arms are rested comfortably, even though um, I'm actually more preferred at a, at a zero degree tilt. Um, so this is a very comfortable um, and ergonomic setup. I can lean back a little bit. Um, how I have my chair set up is that I'm always at a little bit of a tilt and if I need to go back more, all I have to do is just lean back a little bit more. Um, all right, so I'm going to show you the M2 um, mount and then, and then that should be it. Right here, I'm just going to pull this out and it's very easy to adjust here and actually let me Okay, so now that you see this a little bit better, it's very easy to adjust. I can lift up right like that. I can lift down, okay? I can swivel left, swivel right. Very, very adjustable. Um, if I want, I can tilt this at an angle. Up. Down. Or, if I prefer, I can also rotate. And for those of you that like the vertical setups, you can rotate that extremely easy. So there we go. That is the M2 uh, adjustable arm. It's very, very nice and handy. Um, and it's great for setting up your ergonomic environment. So all that combined together makes for a wonderful ergonomic setup. So there's my setup. Thank you for watching.